This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. Itong pinosisyon mo ang sponge cola. And the reason, itong mga tanong na to is to help everybody who wants to start a band. You yeah. know, give them insights. Yeah, because yeah. you and I, ang galing yun. Again, I go back to nung umalis ako ng 2001. You guys were probably starting or kung nasa. Ano pa lang nun? Giging pa lang. Right? Pero, Hindi pa like, putok. Oh, parang may mga, you know, like 20 people in a bar gig tapos biglang yes. may new person. Ang galing yes. nung ginagawa niya. Pero umabot kayo ng critical mass. Yeah, yeah. Was it your idea? Was it by chance? Or was it a combination of both? Um, well, ano eh. Uh, I don't know where to start exactly, pero... This is your episode, kahit saan. Yeah, 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 parang, hmm. Um, well, yung about yung targeting. Yeah. He, well, yung targeting kasi. Hindi, ako parang, I have to like the song eh. So, basically, I just have to be me. So, yung bitiw, hindi ko naman siya plinano na gusto ko ito maging kanta ng mga achievers. Ako, gusto ko, ito yung may ririnig ko kapag ka, pagkalalaban ako. Kaya yung jump ball. Yeah. Kaya yung sound ng riff na genet, genet, jump ball yun eh. Genet, 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 genet. Kasi yun yung, yun yung gusto ko na energy ng jump ball. Tapos yung ganun na beat. Kasi sa akin, ito talaga yung beat na parang okay game na. Parang, you're, parang you're gonna feel, you're, you're gonna get an elbow and you're gonna feel it. And you're not gonna cry. Because I'm, I'm gonna try to win. So, man, I don't know why I'm getting intense again. No, no, no. Kasi pang, <laughs> pang-hype mo yun eh. Yeah, yeah. Pero ganun. So, parang, uh, yung, yun, yung, we just, you know, para, tapos, I'm, I'm also a romantic guy. So, I like love songs. Right. By default. Like, I watch Titanic 17 times sa Sinihan. Umiyak ka. Oo, oh, every time. <laughs> pinapanood, ko na, pinapanood ko nga yung Titanic, six months, kasi sa, sa Pilipinas, yung Titanic, six months na, nasa, nasa SM pa rin. Napanood mo yung Dollhouse? Hindi pa. Oh my god, hindi ko Grabe daw, nakakayak daw no. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it very soon. Pero you know, I'm a romantic guy. I like yep. you know, I like nanood ako ng A Walk to Remember with six dudes. Yun din niya ako yun. And ako, ako rin. Tapos right after, we went home and I recorded I finished my demo for the song Saturn. Kasi biglang nung while, while watching it, may scene na nag nag, nag telescope siya tapos yeah. nakita niya yung Saturn. And at that point, meron akong song na I've seen Saturn through a telescope parang yun yung first line ng chorus. So, okay time to it's a sign. I have to finish the song. Like Jamie. So you exactly you guys, you part na yon, di ba? Like, mm. ikaw action man ka. Yeah. Hindi mo tina target ang certain demographic. Yeah. But then again, intuitive ka and uh-huh. in tune ka with with your environment. Eh. Yeah. Chaka alam mo rin na parang kung ikaw mal malul uh, ma- you kung nafi feeling catharsis listening to this, malamang the other person will also probably feel it. You know. It's, so meron kang ganon. Uh, oh, parang kasi kung nagwork for you, it's gonna work for someone like you, or at least. It it can it's it's it has a shot. So do you write for yourself or do your bandmates write for you? Parang ano eh, we write. I I think I write for myself, and then I just become super proud. De ba? Parang I write the song. Tapos pag okay, magugusto nila yan. Parang ganon na. Parang uh, tapos I think yeah, my bandmates are also like like our bassist kasi is uh she's isang ano eh. D- dalawa kami main songwriter. Pero we all write songs. Pero parang kami yung pinaka Kumbaga sa Phil's Cup, mahaba-haba yeah. yung... Yung uh, catalog niyo. Uh, uh, ang tawag, ang tawag ni, Ar- ni Armo or guitarist sa ganong situation, you're a two-pager. <laughs> yung kapag, kapag yung, yung two pages uh-huh. na yung list of songs mo, ganun. So, kami nagsusulat eh. Tapos parang siya rin eh. Our, our bassist is an introvert naman. Tapos a very rare independent personality type. Tapos he writes music na yung mga chords sobrang crazy. Yung parang... Hindi ko, hindi ko, mahirapan ako kapain. Hindi yep. siya GDC. I mean, hindi siya basic. Wala, walang, nothing basic. But nothing wrong with basic too. No. Kasi, you know, like the best shots are, of course, are, are open layups, you know, yep. and open three-pointers, diba? Sure hit yun. Oo, eh. hindi na kailangan lahat ng tira step back eh. Yes. Diba? Shout out sa mga naglalaro na lahat ng tira step back. <laughs> hindi, wala ka na bantay, maatras ka pa. Okay, sorry. Hindi kasi, nangyayari yun eh. Parang grabe to, gusto talaga niya yung tira na yun, pang buwelo na, naging buwelo, naging manirism na lang eh. Parang not practical but okay. <laughs> If it floats your boat, then but anyway, ayun, parang so yun. Sorry, na- nawala ako dito. De- <laughs> okay. Yun. So, so kayo na so si okay, si Armo ang gitarista. Yeah, tapos si Ted yung drummer and si Gosh yung bassist. So si Gosh kayo yung dalawa. Uh, Nagte-teamwork palagi kayo yung dalawa. Madalas either magse-send kami ng complete song na or mag magte-teamwork kami. Pero nagte-teamwork din kami ni Armo at ni Ted. So kasi Spurs fan ako eh. So lahat nakahawak ng bola. So pag lumabas, okay, good. Pag lumabas ng teamwork, mm-hmm. 
So, mga galing sa inyo yung dalawa ni Ted. Mm. Pag binato kay... Ah, kay Gash. Mm-hmm. Kay dalawa ni Gash. Pag binato kay Arma at kay Ted, do they get to make timpla? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. utusan mo na lang sila kung anong gagawin? Usually, siguro may, may, siguro may ibang songs na may idea na ako for the drums. Kasi si Ted din, ano rin siya, middle child. Tapos, okay. pareho, kami yung magkasama Pare. mag-travel all the time. So, kami yung parang kapag nasa kotse kami, nag-drive kami dito, parang, sa magsukuma yan? Ikaw, ikaw. Ikaw. Puro ba kami din? <laughs> Oo, kasi para lahat kami parang para pleasers kami ng mga tao eh. So, nakakatawa kami pagka, pagka ang ending yan parang pupunta kami sa isang area na parang pareho kaming average lang about pero walang gusto magsalita. But anyway, um, so yun, lahat uh, normally, si, may mga, normally sila bahal na maglagay ng stuff nila. Pero may mga times na pag sa drums, sasabihin ni Ted, ano gusto mo? Tapos iniisip ko parang, so there's like this one particular song na sobrang nahirapan kami magkaroon ng title. Kasi may mga songs na ganun, parang yung title yung mahirap. So, ang, the title of the song is um, Kung May Oras Ka. Tapos, it's a, uh, yung drums doon, parang sabi ko kay Ted, parang kailangan yung drums dito. Parang, walang, yung, parang yung intensity, start to finish, pareho, lahat sagad, nakatoodo lang. Kasi, two minutes lang yung kanta. Tapos, parang, may, meron siyang, I'll let you hear it later. Pero, pero hindi ko pa pwede parinig dito eh. Pero, Parang ano eh, parang two parts. Oh, so to, as of this tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's an unreleased song and it's one of my favorite songs and it's about working hard. Kaya gusto ko intense lang siya kasi yung concept ng lyrics, parang um habang tulog kayo, ako dire-diretso lang. Para I'm just working non-stop. I'm a machine. Tapos parang wala pa akong alam. Kasi pero araw-araw nadadagdagan yung alam. Parang yung lyrics niya. Galing, oh. So, important sa akin yun eh. Yung idea na you have to surrender then. Yung idea na despite all your achievements or whatever it is na nagawa mo na, hindi ka patapos matuto. So, you have to constantly learn. So, yun din yung song. Para I'm always working, always learning. 